Bloom here. I forgot to record an intro. So here's Dimitri, my husband from Fire Emblem. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyways. Hello again, everyone. Today we're on top of my bed because the floor is covered in pillows and I don't feel like picking them up. I just thought I would do a video where I show off some of my completed pages and I think like one unfinished page that I've done in the past month. It's not too many because I I don't really get a chance to color as much as I would like to, but I try to when I can. And the first page is from the Fade Dorables Mini. And it's the very first page. It looks almost exactly like the cover, but there's a few changes. I was using Arteza felt tip markers. Um, the moon is highlighter right here. Uh, there's some soft pastel around the outside to give the soft glow of the moon. And the barn owls were just done with some random alcohol markers I had. Honestly, I didn't put too much effort into this, but I think she came out kind of cute. She's got a little blush on her, some lipstick. I like it. Very simple. Very small book. So you kind of need to have really well sharpened pencils or gel pens to color in it. Next I have the Cute Fantasy Collection from Jade Center. And once again... Okay, this one's, this is the unfinished one. It's Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I did add some extra eyelashes to her eyes kind of badly and I didn't really want to copy how it looked on the front with her apron being white and her dress being blue so I just flipped it around looks cute enough to me I haven't finished it because there's just a lot of things going on in the background and I never got around doing it next is the anime manga food girls by May Yu. Um, let's see what one I did in here. You know what I should have done? I should have put bookmarks in the pages. That might have helped a lot. Let's see. I should find it if I flip through the book. Only one page. But I liked how it came out. There it is. Her little cinnamon bun dress was super cute. The frosting. <laughs> and the gold foil shiny whatever border around her was done with a gold deco pin it stinks to use but it makes the shiniest glossiest this one right here deco color this thing stinks but doesn't it make the shiniest looking borders ever I really like how it came out. I didn't work too hard on this one. As you can see, I didn't even color the background because I didn't feel like it. And then we have the manga and chibis coloring book. I know where this one is because it's basically broke the spine. Oh, there she is. There she is. My rainbow princess. I am really happy with how her hair came out. I drew, I colored her hair using chameleon colored pencils, skin as well. I think all this was chameleon colored pencils actually. And again, the shiny golden pin for her tiara and her earrings and her brooch. I really like how this one came out. In the background, I kept it mostly simple. And there's a white outline around her as well to help her pop out from the background. Next we have the Easy Coloring Book. I like this one because it's easy. It makes me really happy to color in this one. The first picture I did in here was this delicious burger. This big old burger. Coloring this made me really hungry. Yeah, I like how it came out. I don't really like the yellow lines I put around the outside. Because it's supposed to be like, ta-da! The big gigantic burger! 
but it looks just kind of garish, really. <laughs> and further in, I did this one, just some paint. I wanted to make it really simple. And the paint's actually based off the Zorn palette. Zorn was an artist who primarily used the colors white, black, yellow ochre, and I think vermilion, but I also added brown and green because they're, you know, colors you need for nature. And the paint here, I drew it pink because if you mix red and white, you get pink. So I just wanted to make sense as from a painting perspective. I like this book a lot. I usually mostly use markers in here because it just goes down so smoothly. And then we have the anime coloring book. And once again, the only page I've done is the first page. The only thing I don't like is how similar it looks to the cover, but I did try to make it unique. But actually, the color I picked for her bathing suit was randomly picked, and it just happened to look exactly the same as the cover, so that kind of sucked. And then I randomly picked the color for her hair, so thankfully it wasn't the same color. Randomly picked the color for his hair and his shorts. Um, this one was actually done with watercolor pencils, which is why it looks kind of janky. But I like how it came out for watercolor pencils. Oh, I actually did it this one. And in this one, the shoujo manga coloring book, I did two things. The first one's actually legitimately real. It's Alice falling down the hole into Wonderland. I actually drew this pocket watch for the white rabbit because he didn't have one and I thought how is he gonna know if he's late if he ain't got a pocket watch so I, I drew that same with the bear I gave him a hat because you know I think he's supposed to like the Mad Hatter some parts are glowing glittering the hat the bow um, his bow once again the shiny gold pin and the background was uh, colored in with Posca's and I really like how it came out. There's a date. The next one I did is not really truly colored, but I just felt like it. This was done using watercolor paint and um, post-it notes. <laughs> These are his post-it notes. I like how it came out, actually, even though it's very simplistic. I forgot to do the shoe. Oh my gosh. And I think he looks really cute. I didn't do her eyes either. Oh my gosh. Her eyes are white. Yep, the eyes are right. I think it came out a lot, so that's the only one in this one. Last but not least is my favorite one, which I finished like a few nights ago. And in fact, I have to do something special for this one, so give me one moment. Oh my goodness, it's so dark in here. You can barely see anything. Well, let me just turn on the light. Yeah. I used fluorescent colored pencils on this one. And it came out so nice. I like how her eyes glow. The stars are glowing. Some of the decorations are glowing. And oh my gosh, I just really like how this one came out. <laughs> I was really proud of this one, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, I'm gonna go turn the lights on so you can see what it looks like with the lights on. And with the lights on, I think it looks really cute as well. But the, the lights off effect from the fluorescent pencils is probably my most favorite thing I've ever done so far. And this one was colored using Bright Ideas colored pencils. And this one's my favorite of all the ones I've shown so far. So yeah, those have been all my colored pages. Let's see if I can fit every book in here. Probably not, but I'll try anyway. Hopefully I can do another video. When I do a few more, maybe in a couple of months when I get around to them. I'm not the fastest person when it comes to coloring, sorry. I just color when I have time. And thanks for watching!